Hello everyone, this is Red with RedDragonLeo.com and I just wanted to do a second video because um, I just don't know for sure what's going to happen. Um, one hand, you know, we've got that fake print and, you know, does it have to be met? Well, I don't know. They have all been met before in the past. But uh, maybe this one won't. Maybe we won't make it up there this year. Maybe we'll make it up there next year. I just don't see how that's possible. Because once this thing rolls over, it's going down into primary wave three. Uh, three of three of three or whatever. You know, it's, it's going really low. I mean, because probably war some type of false flag event that the gangsters in the Federal Reserve are going to start. Um, possibly a uh, suitcase nuke or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know. I just know that this time period coming up next week, which was supposed to be between the 8th and the 11th, is uh, supposed to be a major tipping point in the economy and something big is supposed to happen. Um, now, some people just sent me an email and sent me the link to Half Past Human and I went over there to read it and basically they are saying that it has been moved up. Now, this is from November the 3rd which is today. And uh, I will put this link up on the website as well. But uh, basically they're saying that the language uh, says that it is being moved up to November the 5th. If that's the case, and it says November the 5th at approximately 2.30 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Okay. And that it will extend out further to November the 14th instead of November the 11th. Okay, remember what that guy said about November the 14th that I did on my weekend post. Um, you can go back and look at it. To, you know, just go back one post from this post. On my weekend post, that guy said that it was something he had seen in a vision, I guess. And, uh, but he did the numbers and it's November 14th is 777 days from the Dow Jones one day loss of 777 points back uh, in uh, 2008. So, and that's on the weekend post. So, um, that date, the, the this basically starting tomorrow, November the 5th, at approximately 2.30 p.m., the emotional tension level plateau has uh, starting to grow. Now what does that mean? I, I don't know, but um, if this market does not gap up tomorrow morning and break that overhead resistance, the odds of it going up and hitting that fake print are severely lowered. Um, because it could sit there and bang on it for weeks or on that overhead resistance and just be knocked down, knocked down, knocked down. You know, you sit here and you look at this chart and you can see how long they bang, 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 bang here just to get over that resistance. And then look where, how long they've banged on this resistance here, seven days in a row uh, there uh, before they finally popped up. Um, you know, and, and here. And you got to think that it's weaker now because even though they're putting more money into the system with that new $600 billion, it's not going to have the same effect that it did before, folks. We, we know that, okay? We know that. It is not going to have the same effect. So if they do not gap up, and I don't know how they can do it, but, you know, but if they don't gap up and get above and make a run for it, um, it's just not going to happen. I mean, because the, if they just open up in the morning flat and just try to slowly go up and maybe tag, maybe tag 1210, maybe tag 1215, 
they're going to get knocked back down from it. That's just the way this is. I mean, it's the way the charts are. Uh, there is still a ton of shorts up there. And the only way you can take these shorts out is to sneak around behind them. And that's this the equivalent of gapping up above the resistance level. That's sneaking behind them. If you try to take them on a frontal assault, all of these people waiting to short up here at this, at this you know, double top area, they're going to um, throw massive amounts of shorts there. And, and, and so the market will sell off. Now, is it going to be a crash? I don't know. Uh, of what this... Um, you know, everything I'm reading to, it's going to be a crash. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be, let's see, where's that video at? Or that's right here. Um, it's going to be pretty serious. We're talking, you know, basically, we've got all the numerology telling us uh, that um, basically November 14th, 777 days from the Dow's point, 777 a point drop back in 2008 so uh, that's going to be probably some type of major event and but it's basically this half past human site talks about this being an emotional tension between tomorrow and November the 14th maybe a little scary okay maybe it's because of um, the fear of hyperinflation which we're going to get from this new money that uh, the Fed's just injected into the system, okay? And then maybe here where it says the next uh, paragraph, it says the break in the tension values that indicates the tipping point after which, which we, the planet of humans, uh, is into emotional release language starts November the 14th. Now, what this is all about is computer bots computer bots that not only do the government have but private companies have too they can go out there and scan the internet and look for certain keywords to be said and when they hear a lot of keywords it that uh, it points to something happening and the first level of tension of something happening is the emotional tension level which according to this starts tomorrow if that's the case I don't see any way we can get up to that fake print. While I think it's going to be hit at some point because they haven't failed me yet in the past, they seem to all fulfill. Uh, maybe the Illuminati is losing control. Maybe they had, had intentions of getting it up to that point. And maybe because the crap's going to hit the fan here, maybe this time this print that's not going to get fulfilled. Maybe at this point in time they thought they'd be higher in the market and uh, and so maybe it won't get fulfilled. Uh, personally, I just think once the thing does roll over, we're just we're not going to see that kind of level, 11,800 for quite a while. Uh, well, until hyperinflation hits. When hyperinflation hits, then yeah, uh, you know, a Dow 3,000 might be a Dow 30,000, but it's really the equivalent of today's Dow 3,000. So if that makes sense to you, you know, so it's your money cut uh, by a tenth. So, but anyway, so the, after that, the tipping point, November 14th, this is, I guess, more of a physical something really happening that uh, um, starts Basically, I guess, as it says, November 14th at 6.50 a.m. Pacific Coast time. And um, that would be uh, 9.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which the markets would have been open for 20 minutes. And uh, if that's, well, wait a minute, November 14th isn't a market day, is it? Let me see here. Uh, let's see, November 14th. Oh, that's a Sunday. Okay, I was thinking the 15th. Okay, so, um, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff coming out that says next week we are going to crash, folks. So I don't know how they're going to get it up there to that fake print. If they, maybe, maybe they have lost control. Uh, maybe they have lost control and they just can't get it. This is a good, a good read, but there's also something else here I want to show you. Um, 
this uh, YouTube video and this Lindsay Williams. Um, it's a six part. I've watched three of them so far. Scary as hell. This guy knows what he's talking about. Deathbed confessions. I'm basically an insider that uh, knows what's going on. Has not been wrong on any of his calls, according to Lindsay Williams here, that everything he said has come true. And he is saying to stock up six months of supplies of food and water and um, that you're not... I mean, it's, it's going to be devastating. Gold is going to skyrocket. This confirms everything else that we have seen with, um, um, you know, David Wilcox and uh, Ben um, Fulford and his calls where we could possibly see gold at 26000 or 38000 or just insane high levels as the dollar gets absolutely destroyed. Uh, of course, you know, if we start to have a crash, obviously the dollar um, would have a temporary rise, obviously. Uh, but this is also an interesting read as well. I'm going to put these links in the blog. I just had to want to throw this video up there because I, I just, you know, it's just very uh, confusing at this time. But I'm looking at the overnight futures. Here it is, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night. What time is it? Let's see. It's 11 o'clock at night. I haven't set my time up yet on this uh, stupid thing. It, I don't know why this computer does this, but it uh, goes back uh, before the actual spring forward fallback time period does. I guess we're getting close to that, but it seems like it does it a few days early or something all the time. But anyway, so charts say yes we still could go up but if this has been moved up to the timeline uh, this is not going to make it it's just going to roll back over just roll right back down so let's be very cautious tomorrow because what i'm going to be looking for is the 60 minute chart to get peaked out and and, and uh and to peak out around the uh, afternoon you know to not be able to hold its uh, gains and to peek out and not get above you know this line here and to look like it's getting ready to roll over you know this is the 30 minute where's that 60 minute um 60 minute same thing gonna we'll look for it to get up here and peek out and if it does not roll over again if there's not a big rally then in the first video i said about it going up to that fake print is going to be off the table the only way that that is going to happen is we gap up above that resistance. And the first gap is going to have to obviously be here. we got a gap here first and then kind of chop around maybe at one day, like on a Thursday, all day tomorrow, Thursday, and maybe chop around the 12.15 to 12.20 area and, uh, and then have another gap the next day on a Friday. And I just think they're running out of time. I'm thinking at this point, based upon what this, these things are saying, that uh, it's not going to happen. So, yeah, it looks like, well, you know, we're ready to roll over and roll down on the VIX. Yes, it still does. Overbought here. It's a hard read on the charts right now because the charts are starting to turn a little bit bullish. But, um, again, you know I'm not a bull. And I believe this market is in for a serious crash. And I've been calling it for a while. Been off on the timing, of course. Nobody really knows. But maybe that upside fake print is not going to happen, folks. Let's just keep that in mind. Let's just be very cautious tomorrow and look for these charts to peak out and, uh, and to look to roll over. Because if they take it up just shy of that 12.15, and get this thing overbought into the afternoon, that might be the ultimate shorting spot tomorrow, uh, just shy of that 12.15 to 12.20 area, maybe 12.10, I don't know. You get to look at the charts, look at the time, somewhere between noon and um, two o'clock would be my estimate that it would be peaking out. Okay, gang, I'm out of time. That's it, good luck tomorrow.